Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of the last part of the main cabinet. I wanted to do this before I put it in because it would be more fun to show off this way. So for the sound, I decided to build my own uh, soundboard. So this is just a little amplifier. So I couldn't buy just the jack at the store. They didn't have any, so I just bought a stereo headphone extension cable and lopped the end off. And uh, I attached it to this potentiometer, hot glued it. This potentiometer is actually two potentiometers together, and it's logarithmic. So, hot glued, strain relief, and it's logarithmic, and it's sending an audio signal out to two amplifiers. So those are LM386s, and the output of that is going through these screw terminals and out to these speakers. These speakers came from Four City Surplus. They were three bucks each. They're okay. They're shielded, I guess, that's a bonus, if you care. So, those are the speakers I'm going to put in. And I'm going to power this off of a 5 volt rail on the Pi. But for demonstration, well, if you look close here, I have pin headers. Those are going to connect to the uh, Pi. But I've just clipped onto power and ground. And here's a 9 volt battery just to demonstrate it. There we go. So it's logarithmic, so you'll notice that if you use just a normal linear one, that it kind of just jumps really quick. These are actually, this is a pretty de decent sounding thing with a 9 volt battery, so uh, if you wanted to use this for something else, that would be great. So that's how they move together is because of this potentiometer. So this potentiometer is key for a stereo project using a LM386 or I guess a similar amplifier. So, yeah, it sounds pretty good. I'm happy with that. And uh, so all this is, is, I went to the data sheet and I just chose the uh, schematic with the fewest components for the LM386. So if you wanted to increase the gain, uh, you could do that easily just following the other schematics, which is just adding components. You could easily tack one on. Uh, tack on a resistor or a capacitor. I think it's actually just another 10 mic electrolytic capacitor if you want a gain of 200. I could be wrong, but uh, I did add some bypass cap. So I added a 10 mic and a, uh, a 104, which is a uh, 0.1 mic repaired capacitor to try to bleed some of it off. I can't really tell much of a difference, but uh, some people online seem to think that was a good idea. So there you have it. I have a soundboard here. Now when I had it plugged into the Pi, it did sound a little rough. Uh, I think the 5 volt rail is actually just having trouble handling this thing. So I might change something with the power supply to clean up the sound. And uh, the Pi actually just drops a lot of noise that this thing picks up. But it, it even sounds dirty if you're wearing headphones. So I don't think it's the amplifier circuit so much. But uh, alright, there you have it. Stereo LM386 1 watt, half watt per channel uh, amplifier. So I encourage you to build your own. Have fun. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, have another video up shortly, uh, me showing off the Maym Arcade. Alright, take care.